Shemi Lumar, Technical Marketing Engineer in Cisco's Enterprise Routing Business Unit. Today, I'm going to talk about some of the new innovations with the Cisco Catalyst 8300 and 8200 series search platforms. I have briefly covered on a high level in my first video. We will get into little more technical details onto these new innovations. The technology innovations come from what business demands and forecast for the current and future growth of the network infrastructure. All these platforms are built on x86 system or chip architecture. If you know about ISR 4300 series architecture, the same has been inherited to the Catalyst 8300 and 8200 series. So here is an example for a 8 core system. The platform is default optimized for service plane mode which means Three service plane cores can be used for services or application hosting inside the iOS XE containers. KVM and LXE containers are supported for application hosting and also we do support the third party applications as well. This flexible system on a chip based architecture helps to implement the dynamic core allocation feature where the three service plane cores is repurposed for data plane optimized mode for higher platform throughput based on customer requirements. As you can see, single CLI command help to change between mode of operation without the need of a reboot. As you see here, once you allocate the service plane cores to data plane cores, the app hosting capability is disabled. In a 12 core system, you will still be able to host application in the data plane mode due to higher core availability and is only available on higher end model of the Catalyst 8300 series which is the C8300-2 and 2S-42X hyphen model. So when we talk about the Catalyst 8K, it's all about improved performance and scale with the new two components added to the x86 system architecture which are the data plane development kit and the quick assist technology engine with dpdk or data plane development kit we have improved the data plane performance and we were able to improve the ipsec performance with the qat engine multi-floor comparing to the previous isrs here is the CPU allocation for the Catalyst 8300 series Edge platforms. The C8300 1 and 1S 42X, the C8300 1 and 1S 60, and the C8300 2 and 2S 60 models comes with 8 core CPU in total, which are defined in the blue blocks. So the default allocation is what we call the service optimization. One core for control plane, two cores for IO, two cores for the packet processing engine, and three cores for the service plane where you can host full stack of SD-WAN security or third-party application like Wireshark, iPerf, and more. The C8300 2N2X 42X defined in the green blocks is much powerful platform with 12 CPU cores in total, one for control plane, two for IO operations, four packet processing engine, and five cores for service plane. The key takeaway is that the default core allocation is de designed for service optimization. With data optimized mode, you might get a better per throughput or performance of the box, but you will not be able to run any container application on these platforms and you see all the service plane cores are repurposed for data plane operation on a 8 core system but you can still run container application on 12 core platform as you still have four cores for services for application hosting even in the data plane mode the 8200 series platform is 8 core system in green blocks and the 8200L is the 4 core system in the blue blocks. Dynamic core allocation are supported on these platforms as well. However, the Catalyst 8200 can support full stack 
of container based security application and third party applications but the 8200L does not support any container applications besides the 1000 eyes and obviously the catalyst 8200L is mostly optimized for cloud delivered security using umbrella SIG for brand security for SASE. In the data plane optimized mode no container application support is available with the 8200 platforms but with improved feature performance. The QR label provides you rich set of device information as shown in the slide. The QR label is located here as shown in the red rectangular blocks. This information helps non-IT person or technical person to grab the details of the box using a QR code reader externally without having the device removed from the rack. So pull out the plastic strip or use a QR code reader for inventory purposes. Also in some cases having these platforms prior ready would help IT team to pre-prepare the devices for installation with pre-populated templates in SD-WAN we manage or DNS center. A closer look to the RFID tag used for device tracking. Here is where the RFID is located as shown in the red rectangular blocks. It works on ultra high frequency with 860 to 960 megahertz frequency and can scan within one to four meter distance. Customer can use RFID tag readers integrated into this into their wireless infrastructure to have this hardware tracked. This is a passive RFID, which means devices doesn't need to be powered up for activating it. This is totally optional for customer who doesn't see any value out of RFID they can unselect the option during CCW ordering process. So the requirements for compute and storage are very essential when it comes to branch deployments where customer would think of higher security at the branch with the need of direct internet access at the WAN edge in most cases. The new Catalyst 8300 and 8200 series platforms are well equipped to fit in all the customer needs when it comes to security applications such as Cisco Unified Threat Defense or UTD, Thousand Eyes for troubleshooting and monitoring, as well as the support for other third-party applications. In order to support this application hosting inside the service containers residing within the Cisco Flexible and Featured IOSXE operating system, basic requirements are memory and storage. So all these platforms comes with 8 gig of default memory and most cases 8 gig of DRAM will suffice app hosting memory needs but storage requirements can vary based on the application that you are hosting. So Cisco has enhanced this platform with a dedicated storage slot in the M.2 NVMe form factor that support variable storage options such as 16 gig, 32 gig and 600 gig in addition to the 8 gig boot flash storage that the devices comes with. This dedicated storage can support many use cases like I said app hosting for SD-WAN and traditional deployments, additional memory for device logging as well support for app QoE and SSL proxy inside the service plane cores. So what is next to come in our video with the Catalyst 8000 series branch edge platforms? Our next video will cover the 5G cellular WAN high speed access for cloud connectivity for SASE and next generation modules for high speed WAN and LAN connectivity for with embedded security. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe to this channel for more updates to come. Also, do not forget to provide your valuable comments and feedback for better next time. Thank you.